you. Hey there guys, right, we're going to sort our um, generator today, it's a Honda GX160 1.5, it's one of the first generation that had the electronic stuff, you know, for the oil as well, it cut off, which I'm going to go through with you. All you're going to need is a ratchet, extension, 10 mil, some oil, some carb cleaner, and maybe something just to put your nuts and bolts in so you don't lose it, okay? Um, start off with the easy stuff first, Ugh. literally just cleaning the carbs, so if you take off the air filter, you get these in most places, you can get these in Halfords, any car parts, Euro parts, that sort of stuff. Um, it absolutely stinks, so I'd um, advise doing it outside because it's going to absolutely stink out your house. What you do, is you just want to spray it inside, you can be generous with it. Give that maybe a couple of minutes just to soak in. Um, obviously, stick your air filter back on. We're going to do that up tight. Then obviously what you want to do is you want to carry on pulling, pulling, pulling. If it's still not starting, there's obviously a couple more options. So what we want you to do, uh, you're going to take off the spark plug. What you're going to need, obviously a spark plug remover. This one's a 40 millimeter. We're just using an extension, which is a lot easier. Um, jam it in. No, that didn't get it. Oh, oh yes it did. Okay. Alright now we've removed the spark plug. Now you can test the spark plugs, obviously you can, if you've got a spare one sitting about it doesn't fit, all you're going to need to do is just take off that little bit there and you can apply it to pretty much any spark plug just to put it in to the HT lead right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is you want to stick the HT, uh, put the spark plug in the HT lead right there and you want to put it up against something metal like that. Now we're going to get a spark because we've obviously solved the problem. This is what you're looking for, it's just that spark there. Now sometimes you're not going to get that spark, obviously this is the problem that we're going to have, so we want to test to make sure that we've got that spark. If you don't have that spark, then we um, obviously we're going to go through the steps, but if you do have the spark, what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of your petrol, stick it in a little nozzle so you can pour the petrol into there, into the little hole where the spark plug goes, okay? Then what you're going to do is put the spark plug back in, put the HT lead back onto the spark plug and pull it. And then hopefully then you'll get um, it'll start up and then it'll cut straight off, which means that you've got a fuel problem. So you might have a split in your pipe or there might be a blockage. So then obviously we're going to have to go through that in another video for you. Just for now we're going to stick with this one for you. So we'll leave this out for now. Oh, now, we've got something in here called a stator or other people call it a magneto. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your 10 mil extension in your ratchet. Okay. And there's, there's four, there's one right here, one right there, one right there, and one right there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip those off right now. All right, so yeah, last one's out. All right, now be careful here, you're going to have your throttle cable here, so you don't want to be ripping it up, and then obviously shearing this, because then you're going to have to get another cable. So just nice and easy, you pry it over, and here you have it here. Now, this sounds really nice and loose. When we got it off, this was really tight up against here and it was very stiff. Now, I can get my screwdriver just to show you. Right here is a plate, as you can tell, that is magnetic. None of the other bits are magnetic. So what's happening is as it spins, it's connecting with this and that's what's spending the spark plug, um, spark in it. So what I did was um, I got a nice flat edge. I didn't do it, I just pressed very lightly and just scraped off all of the excess. So when it was going around, it was able to cause a spark. Now. This is where you can use your 10 mil to get this out and this adjusts this, it adjusts this right here. So you either move it closer if it's too far away, obviously, or take it for further. So just depending on whether there's enough clearance there, you don't want it to be scraping. You'll hear if it's obviously too close, so just take it away. All you need is trust your screwdriver, push it up against there, tighten it up. So you can pretty much do it all by yourself. Okay, so that's your other problem here. So just make sure that's nice and cleaned off and obviously you can get your connections there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put this back on. Okay, so it's just literally, it'll go back on, just test it. So hold it down nice and so solidly and just give it a little turn just to make sure you know that's on there properly. Locate obviously your nuts.
Get your extension bar. Okay, so yeah, we've tightened up all the nuts now, so we know that this is okay, everything's ripped up. So what you're gonna do now, is you're gonna put it out, and then you're gonna rip it. If it obviously doesn't start, the last option is your oil. But what I would suggest is, is after you've checked to see if there's a spark, just to see if there's sufficient amount of oil in there, because these have cut-off switches in it. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm just gonna turn this around here, and I'm gonna flip it up. Okay, right here is where your oil is. It's gonna have like a little miniature dipstick, it's just like your car, just a little tiny dipstick. Get something that you can wipe this off with. Um, we're gonna use a hand right now because we don't have a cloth. Whip. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. What you wanna do is you don't wanna have it like this because obviously we want it on a flat ground. Just to make sure it's level. So, right here, in it goes. As you can tell here, we haven't got a lot of oil in there. We're just about here. So obviously I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. Oh, all you need, trust this little cup here. There you go. I'd suggest if you've got a funnel, use a funnel because that means you haven't got to keep flipping it up and down like this. I reckon that's gonna take this whole cup, to be honest with you. It's probably gonna need more. As you're pulling it and it's running, obviously the oil's gonna heat up and it's gonna thin out, so you probably need a bit more after it's run after a little while. Let it cool down before you put any more in it, though. Flip it back down. Okay, clean this off. Cool, it's yeah. all screwed in now. So, all screwed in, that's ready to go. I'm gonna take it out one more time. Okay, just put it in. Right, so we've got enough oil there now. This is back in now. So pretty much we've gone through all of the steps that you're gonna need to to get this bad boy running again. Um, it took us a little while to figure it out, but we're there now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spark plug. Spark plug right here. Right, obviously, like with spark plugs as well, you want to you want to test the gap on them. So the way that we do this is that our spark plug. We know we, we know it's all right. What you do is you get a screwdriver if you need to open it up. So get it in there. Okay. Uh. <laughs> all right. So you get your spark plug. Oh, stick it in there. Bring it back in. So what we want you to do just before you do this is put it back in a HT lead. Um, put it up against that metal again, pull it, and to see if that sparks. See, so pre previously on the video, you saw there was a spark. That's what you need to see, uh, just to make sure it's going to run. So, you put a HT lead back on, like that, give it a rip, hopefully it's going to start. Now that would run perfectly now, we know that everything's sorted, leave it for about 10 minutes running just to make sure it's okay. Hope this video helped you guys out, so we've got 5 steps for you, just remember the 5 steps, so we're going to go through them just one more time, you're going to check your air filter, you're going to check your spark plug to see if there's a spark, you want to check your oil to make sure there's oil in there, and you want to check your stator or your magne magneto just to make sure that the points are touching. Um, Thanks guys for uh, watching the video. If that was helpful, please um, like it, subscribe. Uh, if you need any more informa information, please write it in the description below. Thank you guys.